Okay, so let me go on with the story, man. So anyway, I, I was just back in the day, you know, I used to walk a lot back before I got a car. You know, before you get a car, man, you know, you walk it, but once you get a car, it's like walking become the most terrifying thing ever. You be worried about a, a dang warthog or something running out the woods on you, man. But when, you know, but back in the day, I used to be walking. So I was walking past, you know, just walking like, might have been walking to the store. I don't know. It's been a long time. So while I'm walking, I come across a lady who having a yard sale, right? And it was more, it was more of a giveaway than a yard sale. But, you know, I walked up and stuff just seeing what's going on and she really ain't had nothing you know clothes and stuff it was an old you know old black lady so you know she really ain't had like no clothes enough for me and stuff like that and i ain't had no how my own spot at the time so the little stuff she was getting away wasn't really nothing but while i'm looking i see this right and i'm just sitting there looking at it and i'm just looking at this kind of you know how some catch your eye you just get lost looking up at it so then she was on uh, Jamaican. Now, I don't do a real good Jamaican accent, but she like, what you looking at that thing for? Now? And I'm like, uh, you know, man, what's that? She like, you don't want that. And I said, yeah, why, why I don't want it? She said, you don't, don't want that thing, bro. You go t- t- get something there, you go somewhere. Like, I barely can understand what she was saying, but I can get the gist of what she was saying, you know. So, um, you know, and I told her, I said, look, man, I'll take it. You know, I don't know why. I just, like I said, I always been in the creepy stuff, so... You know, sure, I just took it, man. <laughs> and, you know, like I said in the other video, you know, this junkie, look, it's handmade. You see this back here? If this was some factory-made junk, it wouldn't be, you know, that paint spilling over. You see where they tried to paint it and it's not smooth. You see the hooks on here is just rigged. Like, this ain't even no, you know, this ain't, this a piece of wire they got wrapped around here. So, you know, you can see down here they didn't cut it off. They wanted to cut it right there, but they didn't for whatever reason. So... And this ain't no, um, you know, this is a, a one of a kind of piece. Now, some pieces out there that look like it, you know what I'm saying? There's other Jamaican art that look like it, but this is not no made in factory stuff. So, she told me, like, from what I could understand, because <laughs> I hate, I hated to keep asking her what she was saying, because she, you know, I, sometimes the, the foreigners, man, they get a little upset when you can't understand what they're saying. So, you know, she like, hey, come they put a spell on these years, they're coming from the old country. I was like, what? And they're like, yeah, they put a spell on it, come from the old country, and they might have a husband. And she just going, so I just said, you know, I just said, whatever. I almost think maybe I gave her $5. I almost feel like she told me just take it. But I can't, oh, dang. Did she, I don't know, I can't remember. I might have gave her like $5 for it. And she might have just told me take it or something, man. But yeah, I done heard this mug ever since. Maybe that's why I ain't got no money.